What is chirping my peeps? Call my peeps back for episode 13, I believe, of our Fire Emblem, Order of the Crimson Arm Peeps Plays. Let's get in here. Let's get into it. Uh, resume chapter is only there because obviously I replayed the chapter on the other save to get that final, uh, not final, but to get the conversation to put it in at the end of the episode. So for a second, I thought that wasn't going to load. That was a pretty long black screen. So here we are with chapter 10, Forbidden Magic. Now, something tells me we're going to be fighting mages, so we may be getting a lot more use out of our archer. Corn may be getting some use, as well as Beatrice. We'll see, we'll see. 11th of Joker. The atmosphere between the captain and his brother seemed to be getting notably, noticeably tense. I've asked Ernst about it since we had spent more time with him than most, but even he knew not what to do about it. Some light skirmishes against loyalist scouting platoons, however, eased tensions in the troop. We've suffered minimal casualties, and morale has been fairly high, although we've a greater chance of being caught by an ambush the deeper we march into the Dak Woods. Our formation should be able to push through whatever comes its way. <laughs> a saying from my father comes to mind, but another skirmish is broken out. With hope, I'll remember it when I return to finish this entry. Oh, he's writing in like a diary. Retreat! Retreat! Hmm? They're turning tail. That's odd. We were winning, but I don't think they were done in just yet. What do you think, Corn? From what I can figure, they might be trying to lure us in. They're getting away. Well, we have them on the run. Follow Zatman's lead. Well, wait. Hold your positions. Stop. It might be a trap. Oh, this isn't good. That's a lot of green units. Huh? Where'd they go? It seems the fog has covered their retreat. Oh no, a fog of war! Oh, that guy's done for. See ya, buddy. Sucks to be you. What? See ya. Is he gonna get crit? That's a crit. Goodbye, my boy. That 1% crit. Yikes. D -d dark magic. Oh, dark magic. The force is raining dark magic on us. Retreat. They have the advantage here. Oh, dark mages everywhere. Oh, one of the soldiers actually made it back. That blasted fool of a brother. Where is he gone? Uh, Algimas. Wayland, are you okay? Seems like. Good thing we got away before we were. Well, I no longer need of word. I no longer need words now. I clearly see that you have no place here. C Captain, if you would just wait a moment. Quiet, Corn. Best he leaves now before more of us die due to his idiot idiocy. Didn't your group have a few more familiar faces before I arrived? What do you mean, Wayland? I see no buddy I know. There were four of you. Where have they gone? They they just quit, is all. Don't try to change the Like heck they'd quit. Even I know how close you all were. Could they perhaps have they they died. Is that what you wanted to hear, Wayland? They're dead. Are you satisfied? Captain, Wayland, there's no need to raise your voices at each other. If we could just... Yo, this is a brotherly quarrel right here. <laughs> Confound it all. Uh, wh what just happened? Sir Korn, you and Sir Agimas have been called for a briefing. Tell him I'll be taking his place. I'll need some time to cool his head. Sir. Despite being caught... Aha! Despite being caught unaware, we have forces still able to advance into the woods. However, as we have seen, the dark mages residing within the woods are a true force to be reckoned with. Hmm. If we are to deal with it, the men of the Crimson Arms should be the force to attack. Sir Coin here employs the foul magic after all. Let us not throw stones here, Sir Rodolfo. Despite being born in Zestrim, you have been an ostrich long enough to know that we do not share the same hatred for it as they do. I see no wrong in my statement. They have the most experience in employing it, therefore they are the ones that should be best able to deal with it. If that is your reasoning, darling, then I see no reason to keep the enemy awaiting. Even still, we cannot toss caution into the wind. Although I doubt their forces are particularly expansive in the forest, the fact that they are employing dark magic when they had yet to before means they are desperate. A desperate enemy is the most dangerous, as it becomes wild and unpredictable. Indeed, I do trust you will retrieve that captain of yours before we march into the woods. <laughs> Don't worry your head about it. He'll be a, he'll be about before you know it. A 
with all that's going on within the company. Excuse me. I hope all goes well here. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be able to look back on all this and laugh about it. Excuse me, Corm. Hmm? Oh! If you wouldn't mind terribly badly, would you consider bringing me for this? Uh, 200% yes. You are a mage slayer. Oh, why the sudden interest? Do you have experience dealing with the dark arts? None personally besides you, but my brother does. He used to hunt them but Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Pay it no mind. From what I've learned about you, though, I assume you believe that you might find your brother here. Yes, that's right. Very well, I'll consider it. Thank you ever so much. Alright, let's try not to kill her brother, since we accidentally killed Clara, or whoever it was back in the day. Whoever it was back in time. Alright, let's take a look at units. We get 10 units. Ugh, they don't let you bring like, any units. Alright, Lonnie's gotta come. She's got res. You're coming. Waylon doesn't have res. Gerwolf is just too bulky to leave behind. We're gonna drop Aceline. Probably Waylon. We'll bring Lonnie. Probably bring a, our thief as well. I assume neither of you have good res. Fosky has five res, which isn't horrid. Robert has seven. I think if I'm gonna bring anybody, I'll bring Nilda over Aceline. Just because Nilda's. F eh, she's not that much faster. Uh, I guess maybe we'll keep Waylon then. Oh, wait, I never brought my thief. Oh, well, then never mind. We'll grab our thief. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I'm fine with that. Uh, let's formation up here. Let's get Beatrice on a four. Let's get you on a four. Agumas is still here. Let's get Lonnie over here. Actually, I'll keep my healer here. Uh, we're for sure gonna give somebody a torch. Probably Beatrice. I don't know, maybe Corn. I don't know how I want to position people. I'm gonna move Corn onto one. Maybe we'll move Silly here. I don't know. We'll see how this goes with the torch. Augimas is fine. You're fine. You need another heal. Uh, we'll give Corn the torch. Uh, you obviously need an axe. You could use a bit of both here. It seems like she uses her sword more. So we'll give her her. So we'll give her the sword for now. Beatrice should be fine. Elaine can deposit that. She'll be fine. Uh, I hope I bought bows. I didn't buy bows. Ah, bows are the one thing I didn't buy. That's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Uh, I might have to give her the steel bow then. In fact, I think I'm going to swap their bows for now. Well, you know, I'm not going to swap for now. Uh, not buying iron bows was very bad on my part, though. Yikes. Lonnie's good. Alright, everyone should be good then. Oh, that's so unfortunate, man. Not buying bows. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Well, guess we'll just see how it goes. We can save over that one now. Hopefully. I hope I didn't need that. Uh, start, please. Why is my start button not working? Is my controller not set up properly? Start! Okay. Uh. It seems like every. Why is everything working except start? I just, let me start the fight! 
All right, hold on. Give me just a second here. Let's go options. I'm just going to reconfigure my joypad. I don't know why my start button's not working. Up, down, left, right. A, B, L, R. For some reason, my select and start buttons were not mapped. There we go. Everything else was mapped, but those weren't. All right, we'll throw corn here with the torch. Wow, really? And then I'll throw Beatrice here. I'll throw you here. Uh, I do still want to be careful. I'll throw you here. I don't want to run into any unsuspecting. Okay. So, a wyvern here. Uh, throw Negu here with the sword. Bang, bang. That's fine. I'm okay with that. She won't do a lot of damage, but she should double. And that's enough damage. In fact, I could let her kill if I wanted, and I might. That's it, huh? So, if I throw Negu here to draw that guy... Yeah, I'll let my thief kill. Or maybe I should have let Negu kill and had our thief run up on the other guy. I'm not sure. I do know we'll let our thief kill, though. Nice XP. Uh, if this guy can reach, I, I didn't think he would. Uh, I am a little worried here. Alright, there's a Dark Mage. I wonder if he just didn't move last turn or what? Uh, that'll be a little unfortunate, but it shouldn't be a huge deal. Let's see. Let's put you over here. Let's put you here. I kind of want to assume that reinforcements are going to come off the forts. See if that tactician bonus maybe does something. Hmm. Two damage, no crit. Pretty bad chances to hit. We could kill with the steel bow. 8, 16, 24. Three hits. Yeah, we'll take the three hits. We'll let him come to us. We're going to have a lot better. Oh, he has a sword reaver. Probably should have looked at that. Well, lucked out on that one then. Wow, the 79 miss. That should be fun. Yeah, that's... Wow! Okay, RNG. I see you. I see you, RNG. We can't double someone with a steel axe. Are you serious? It's like, oh, you know what? I didn't think about that. Why the hit didn't go down, I don't know. Oh, reinforcements, huh? The fact that we don't double a guy who has a steel axe is actually kind of upsetting. It's actually kind of upsetting. That means corn is really slow. Or the flux is really heavy, but I don't think that's the case. Five? He doesn't even get slowed down by it. He's just that slow. I thought, oh, forest is 20 of, oh, I'm dumb. Well, let's steel bow it then. Oh, I was supposed to give her an earth seal because she might be able to promote. I doubt it, but Augie should be close by and he's a convoy anyway, so, wow. Really? They've hit a 39, a 34, a 24, whatever, and I missed a 71. All right, glad to see that's how we're doing things. Glad to see that's how we're doing things around here, huh? So you got a sword reaver, huh, my boy? Well then, do I have a nasty surprise for you? Ooh, a double nasty surprise, getting that 11% crit. Oh, he dropped a sword reaver? That's really cool. 
Actually, you probably should keep that out. I really don't know how and where I want to send people. Someone would need seven movement to reach here. But she should be okay. I think what I'm going to do is we're just going to block the fort. And let's just throw all must here. Oh, two more wyverns. Okay. Not too... I mean, he hurts, but he's slow. And his hit rate is not too good. Oh! Interesting. Very low hit chance, but still very interesting. So there's an Eclipse Tome somewhere in the bottom right, it seems. What do we got here? Iron Axe... They're both just Axe users, so... To be quite honest... I'm not opposed to... Oh, that's right. Thieves get bigger, better vision. I forgot about that. Uh, I'm not opposed to... Not gonna kill, huh? Fudge. So I think... And obviously he's gonna want to sword out. I think we'll just let her armor slayer this. Wow. The unnecessary second crit. And we will swap off to the iron so that we're not wasting our armor slayer. He's got both his irons. Alright. So, these wyverns shouldn't really be a problem. Let's get corn healed again and send him up. I know it's dumb to run corn up, but whatever. I mean, I just assume there's gonna be dark magic flying at him. Uh, I'm gonna throw corn here again. Throw. Throw Celia. Hmm. This should be a level up, if not close. Ah, really? Talk about too close. And we'll just keep her there. We'll just run Algimas right there. I was hoping they'd go for my thief. It's a little unfortunate. That is very easy XP for my thief. There we go. That's what I want to see. Yeah, she three codes too, which is good. And a level up. Strength, luck, defense, resistance. That's a pretty good level. No speed, but that's still a pretty good level, man. Uh, oh, the hit chance in that went up. Half damage isn't the worst. But the chances to hit are really low. Although that animation does still scare me. Uh, oh! What? A priest? No. What are you doing here, dog of the Inquisition? Such insolence be gone from my sight, Kerr. Your foul magic should not be allowed to exist. Oh, blessed twelve, may you guide this lost shepherd. Divine. 16 res! A traveling acolyte, gentle and serene. Whoa! Okay. Uh. Wait, was he supposed to spawn on the fort? Did they just spawn off forts if they're supposed to be on the fort? That's interesting. Uh, can't kill. Obviously, I need to try to run her down if I can. But I still gotta be careful about it. Uh, how much? Oh, I can't even find out. Well, this plus Negu should be a kill. I mean, if Negu can't do four, then there's a problem. If Negu can't do four, then there's a problem. Alright, even though I don't really want to, I'm gonna run Corn down and use a torch so he can get a 
visual of our area down there. This may be kind of bad, but... Wow. We don't get very much movement, huh? Uh, yeah. We'll move here. Use the... Oh, that's our last torch. That kind of sucks. Uh, oh! Is that the Eclipse guy? No! He's got a Nosferatu that he's gonna drop, though. Uh, that's actually not good. Alright, I really need you to kill. Thanks. Having a double wyvern go after him would be bad. Alright, let's see. So you take that out. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't... We might not have enough to finish everybody off over here, which is a little scary. Ooh, this isn't good. Unless maybe she can one-round this guy. She cannot... All he must run around this guy? No! This guy's got some bulk to him. How about all. Ugh! This isn't good. This is not good in many ways. Uh, may have to rely on a. Eight. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to. We need a crit here. Worse comes to worse. Actually, you should double. Ooh, 16. If we get 6. Okay. Boom, boom. Well, then this guy is still going to be alive. Because they can't one round this guy. So it doesn't necessarily matter then. So let's just take this guy out. He's a flyer, so he should go. It'd be harder to work around him surviving than the others. If I need to, I can run my healers away. Uh, for sure, one of these is probably going to survive. So I probably want it to be him. Just because he's not the biggest threat. We could also do this and hope for a crit, which I, I'm kind of kind of hoping for here. Wow! Or we just miss completely. Okay, now we really need a crit. Oh, RNG, you are so mean. You are so mean to me, RNG. I don't know if I can kill this guy now. 816. We're gonna barely kill him. We're gonna barely freaking kill him, dude. That is so bad. That is so bad. You know, I might actually leave this guy alive. Because my two weaker or all my weaker characters have res. No, yeah. In fact, you know what? I think I will leave him alive. I'm not as worried about res. So if we put Algimas here... I'm not as worried about a res guy coming after anybody. Or a dark magic guy coming after everybody. Uh, problem... Oh, okay. I was gonna say, problem is hit rate, but that is... No, 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 we go. Alright, we should be fine. If he survives, we are in a heap of trouble. Thank you. Oh, at least RNG is not that rude. Ooh, a level up. Resistance? No magic. A freaking course! I mean, good level up, but no magic. So, a freaking course. Alright, I'm gonna put you there. I'm gonna put you there. Alright, let's see if Corn even survives. Thank you. He probably is not going to double. Of course not. He is slow as balls for whatever reason. Whoa! Where did you come from? I'm actually a little bit worried now. She should be okay. Her res is higher, I believe. Alright, the chance to hit is low. But this guy is going to be annoying to kill. Thank you. Having a Nosferatu tone would be kind of nice, too. If only we double. We do! Oh my, we finally double somebody. This tone must be pretty heavy, then. But that's good. That's very good. We can kill him, level up. Okay, four. Even if, even if he doubles, we're fine. The problem comes if there's another Wyvern somewhere. Which, hopefully there's not. Alright, he 
Brendan is not taking damage from mages, which is good. He's got weapon triangle. Is that a crit? Frick, what a show off. His first move has to be a crit? Well, I'm glad we bought that lightning tome. I knew there'd be a reason for it. No damage. Is that a double crit? What the? This man is a man on a mission. He is, wow. He is a man of Jesus. He is a man of Jesus. He is a man on a mission. All right, hopefully, if he runs up to us, that'd be really cool. Let's see, so Lonnie survived. Hmm, what do I want to, how do I want to handle this? Obviously, I was gonna say, is that a village? That's a gate. Um, this may be another 40 minute episode, but we should be able to complete it in one go. We could kill either or, but I'd rather, at 100%, how heavy is that tome? 12? No freaking wonder, man. That's a heavy tome. It's a good tome, but it's a heavy tome. All right, you desperately, need, desperately need speed. No magic, of course. All right, great. Glad to see that my units just keep getting worse and worse with every level up. I mean, granted, of course, they're not actually getting worse and worse, but you know what I mean. Definitely know what I mean. See ya. She's got a brother to go see. Oh, is that level 17? That's level 19. Holy crap. Defense HP. Eh, that's okay. Let's see. Next turn, as long as he moves, we should be fine to talk. This is where my problems come in at. That's 14. That's 16. Uh, and then Augimas plus... I just don't know how to handle this. Obviously, we're gonna wanna heal first. Well, actually, if we do this, and then we can mend heal. I think we're gonna do this, hope for another crit, and then we can mend heal. Well, at least she hit. This killer lance is being completely useless so far, by the way. Thank you, Lonnie! Ah, oh, good. That's good for us. Ooh, Beatrice can just absolutely cream this guy. I think I'll let her. Sweet. Alright, use up the rest of your fire. Cream him. Bang. Bang. Goodbye. Beatrice says yum yum yum. Goodbye, fire. That's okay. Alright. I do want to be careful if there's anybody hiding over here. Which hopefully there's not, but you never know. It's a little risky. I think what I'm going to do is make a little sandwich wall here. We don't need to use the men, but it's good XP. Right now, Elaine needs XP. Oh, I should have swapped off her killer lance first. My bad. Uh, I actually don't know if that was that much more XP. She's super speedy. You know, I think she can live a hit. Alright, let's see how this enemy phase goes. That's fine. He should only have one more after this. Airwolf is like two kills away from leveling up. Sweet! Ah, oh, I didn't move the less sucks. So let's throw him there. Let's get you closer. That's fine. All right, having all this vision is nice. We can start moving the squad up, keeping them in forests whenever possible. 
Uh, as for these two, I don't really know what I want to do with them. Probably swing them around. Yeah, I'm going to have them start coming back out to meet up with the squad. Come on up, buddy. Half my health. Of course you hit. We can miss a bunch of high rolls, but of course the enemy can hit a bunch of low rolls. Double him. Thank you. I was going to say, he's literally a slow as balls knight. I know you hate leveling up magic and speed, but come on, Corn. Is that the Eclipse? That's fine. You go ahead and do that, dummy. You would've been better off doing that first, actually, because if you hit, then I would've died. Oh! Shnikes! Oh, shoot. That's not good. You know what I told you. That's right. I am your living legacy. 